Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm just eating hot cross bun. Um, today we'll be doing a kind of talk, you know. Another review, I don't know, yeah. Because yeah. I've done a few changes with the RC cars, both of them. So I'll start off with the small little boy. So yeah, I've done a few changes. Original motor, plastic bag, broke. Sad eh? Um, I was driving through like bark and stuff. Bark got in the fan on the motor and it was going such a high speed, the fan Buck or something stopped the fan and then got in the fan and then stopped it and then broke it off the then out of spins from and the fan stopped working so then the motor got overheated and then that broke so the motor that was on this RC car because we upgraded this like big like we took the stock motor off put a better motor on it a better ESC and stuff so this motor doesn't work or it does but like it overheats and so we put this Thor 550 size 25T brushed motor. It's actually slower. It still does a wheelie when you take off and all that stuff, but way easier to handle. Still drifts and all that stuff, but easier to steer. I would a lot suggest getting one of these, not a little Chinese one that probably break. I broke it. Three times in about the first two or three days I had it. First, drove it for literally no joke. 20 seconds, went up the driveway, went down the end of the street, went back down, rolled it, landed on a weird angle, and the drive shaft over here, it popped out, but it was an easy fix, we just pushed it back in. Unscrewed the wheel and put that back in. Easy fix. Second day, it was probably my fault. Half this, we we're driving at the park. Back wheel hit really full power. Hit, I'm surprised it didn't do anything. Hit uh, sit the bottom of the seat. All it did was in there. There's a pin, and that pin bent, and then this came off. Not none of the drive shaft bent. None of the shocks bent. Just that little pin, bent the pin back, took this cover off, and the, these stops, put it back in, and it's all good now. So I did that, and then the motor blew out. But it's actually worth it. If you get this motor, or if you sell the stock one and just don't drive it as bad as me, or if when that breaks, you get a better one, don't keep trying to buy, buying those Chinese ones. Get a better one. And then it's a really good RC car. Still wheelies when you take off and all that fun stuff and stuff. So yeah, that's this car done. Remote perfectly. I love this remote. I'm actually, I actually like this remote. It's like cheap compared to my Fly Sky. It just, it's like a bit harder to turn, but it just feels proper. And with this, that thing slides in sometimes and then you, it, it like hards to steer but all you do is push it up but this is it but this doesn't come with like all these trims and like rechargeable batteries and this is worth it i'd rather this one but like this for its money it's good like good for what i like the feel of it it's probably just personal opinion on feel and stuff so yeah his body's on like this void, like scratched it all up, all top, and that it just wheelies. All these back parts have came up and like all like wrecked and like parts all like coming up and stuff. And look at the holes, they're like fully destroyed, and then like these back posts here they go in through the body in through the back there 
and there's like really hard to take off. And like, you can look at this. Look how scratched that is. Look how scratched that is. Look at that one. But this RC car's worth it. If you were thinking, oh, I don't think I should get this, I think I just should just upgrade my other one. Get this. Better. I mean, not better, but funner. So. Into this one. Oop. How are we going? Where's the ESC? Where's the motor? Oh, the motor's in that other one. But that we're using the motor for that one. I saved up that money that you saw in the last few videos. Um, this is the fast guy. Let's see what. Um, and we also got upgraded steering, so, we, um, well, in the last video, um, we got, I mean, I didn't get, we, oh no, I used the motor for this and that, and then I just had a random ESC, and I didn't want to get another brushed motor, and then make a saw game, so what I did is, my friend, yeah, my friend, he has exactly the same car. And what he did to it is, um, he bought a Gul RC 3300KB brushless motor system with ESC. And I watched it drive, and it's like way good. It's like only like $60, way faster than the stock. And he said it's worth it. And what I did today, I got a bit more money because I only have fifty dollars in the last video. I um went on eBay and I bought the um I bought a, a brushless motor and ESC. Yeah, I did fast. I bought. When I was it, it was like way fast, like take off wheelie, backflip, all of that cool stuff, tides blooming, and that, all of the cool stuff. And I was so obsessed with it. That was when I was only like nine and I'm 11 now. And I really wanted to get it. So what I did is I, well, only like about a week ago, I started doing mowing lawns and I got a bit of money. I got $150 in two days, bought that little thing. Had fifty dollars left over, saved up, got a bit more, got one hundred and seventy dollars. I was gonna get the um, Horizon Hobby Onyx system, but I've got the um, Kalasi. I got actually got the first one. I got a. Uh, it's like one dollar extra. Not sure. They're like same price. But I got the um four thousand four thousand three hundred and seventy KV motor. More power. Got that. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to drive it. Okay, so you saw that old um, what do you call it? Motor in that little one. This is the stock ESC. This is not still working because my pa does his stuff, like fixes and stuff. He puts numbers in and stuff in there. This is the upgraded one we got. It's a good one. It can go up to, it's brushed, not brushless, it can go up to, hold up to 3S logo. But I have no clue what to do with this. Is. This is perfectly working ESC. Perfectly. I feel my brother, he has like a RC car. It's like, it's a hobby grade one. But it's not that fast. 
So, I'm not sure. I want to put this in there and get a fast. I don't know. Open it. Okay. I'll, I'll see. I'm not sure. But yeah. That's that. We've naturally changed the channel. And then. If you're both remote, this is heavier. Like, with this one, on the bottom of the trigger, there's like a bit with the plastic, it's like sharp. There's a still a bit of plastic that hasn't been covered in here. But yeah, I think when I get the um brush motor, which is about maximum like the twentieth of of February, um, I mount it up here the ESC motor back here, plug it in there. This side, I mean this side, I'm not sure what I'll do here. Just leave it. I think yeah. Cause there'll be more weight at the back so it pops more wheelies because every kid likes to do a wheelie with an RC girl. So yeah, that's pretty much this video finished. Just a little explanation of this RC car and this other one. So yeah, stay tuned in about, I it actually will be, I think, because with that last one I said I would be back in like two weeks but I came back like the next day because the car came early um so yeah I'll see you guys Oops. in the next video with my um, brush motor, let's go. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.